Howdy friends, it's me, Bubba, Bubba Survivor Man. Today, some of my friends and family asked me would I come out the woods for a little while and do a little cooking for them. They got a game today to watch, one of the football games, LSU and some other bunch of cats. Anyway, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll do some cooking for you. Uh, what you want me to cook? And they said, well, you just cook what you normally cook, whatever you want. I said, all right. So I chose rabbit, rabbit dumplings. clean and ready. I got part over there heating up. What we're going to do is we're going to season it up a little bit and brown this rabbit, set it to the side, and then get the gravy going. Alright? So, we'll put a little salt. I don't measure nothing because, well, I can't read nothing. So, no need me to try to measure it. A little onion powder. The garlic powder. See, I do more than just salt and pepper like in cooking show things yet. That's got to be some bland eating them like the food channel, TV show. And all. all right, so got a little salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and one of my favorites. And then, you know, they ain't pay, these ain't sponsors or nothing. So I shouldn't tell you, you know, but uh, it's Old Bay. I like cooking with the Old Bay. It's good stuff. Been using it a long time. They've been around since about 70 years, according to Bob. But it's probably probably full of bull. But. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a little flour. Get this little flour thing in. Where the flour is here. Get me a little spoon. I don't want to reach down there with my hand. I'm gonna put a little flour on this rabbit. So when you brown it, we'll get some of the little brown giblets in there, you know, from the flour. Alright, put this spoon right there. Alright, I'm going to mix this up a little bit with the flour, the seasoning. And it sticks pretty good because I just washed it, you know, and I drained it a little bit. And so we got a good coat in there. So the rabbit's good and coated. See, so it's still in the bone because the bone gets flat. I'll leave the bone there. So. I know you probably don't understand that, but you will eventually. So now I'm going to wash up my hands a little bit. And we think to put these babies in the pot. So, here we go. Got the grease hot. Hear that? Oh yeah. I'm going to give it just a little more heat. I like to make it sizzle a little more. Good thing is you put it in there, or the, the right thing I should say. Put it in there, let it sit. Don't stir it for a little while. Let it go ahead and brown. Don't get all anxious and greedy with it, you know. Don't move this side of the way. Don't go nowhere. I'm gonna wash my hands a little bit too. Alright. So the rabbit's browning. While that's browning, see I got other things I can do. You see? That's being what's that fancy word they use? Efficiency. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna take my big chef knife. I like to use chef knife. They work good. I'm gonna put this, make sure I got a good little sharpening on this thing. Because you got to have a good sharp knife. Dull knife will hurt you. Sharp knife will work for you. That's what you want. Oh yeah. Y'all didn't see that. Okay. 
Alright, so we'll cut the onion. We're going to get this baby going here. I like to, I like to take my onion, have them ready. That way, as soon as the rabbit's through browning, we can chunk her in there. Mm -hmm. I know y'all had dumplings before, chicken and dumplings. But I like squirrel dumplings and rabbit dumplings. The country folks like that kind of stuff. Now, most of you Yankee folks like to live up in Mississippi, Kentucky, and some of them northern places like that. You might not know what dumplings like this is, you know, rabbit, squirrel. Y'all eat that bland food up here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn you something today about food. Rabbit. No, it's going to be good stuff. Alright, let's get this onion going. We'll get it chopped up and ready. I'm going to try not to cry on the camera. These onions will make me cry sometimes. But, I'm not really sad. This won't be enough. Alright, I'm going to use a half onion. And that's a big onion, that's probably two onions from where you saw it. These are big old cats, though. Alright. While I'm waiting for that red, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bell pepper in there. I don't like to use a lot of bell pepper unless I'm making brown bread. This is going to be a white bread, so I'm going to use a little bit. Uh oh, done popped on me. A little bit. Bell pepper. You just give it a little taste. Alright. Now one of the key things, main things I should say, to dump them is celery. Especially if you cook chicken. But we ain't cooking chicken. But it's still dump. So we're gonna put a little celery in there. That goes a long way. It gives a good flavor. To your gravy. It's all about the gravy. <laughs> Alright, so when that is about done there, or at least on one side, scoop this up a little bit. I don't like to waste nothing. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I have to grow most of this stuff myself. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and roll this over. And uh, see how she's doing. Yep, she's getting brown. Almost made a mess. Got a little trick. Need to hold the pot. So, you get a pot holder. Alright, turn that on. Turn that over. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. She's looking brown. Mm -hmm. You just don't know what she's missing, boys. Girl. Look, rabbit ain't much different than chicken. It does taste different. It don't taste like chicken. Contrary to what everybody always says about wild game. Like frogs. Frogs don't taste like chicken. It tastes just like frogs. Rabbit, you guessed it, tastes like rabbit. It's got its own flavor. It's a different thing. But, it ain't no different than eating it or chicken and dumb. So don't freak out all on it. Look, while I'm waiting for this to brown, be right back. We'll uh, catch up with you in a minute after I get this brown. That way we don't stand around and waste much time. Okay. That didn't take long, did it? Just like that. That's the magic of television. See, I done went and took a bath, and then... Right? I'm not... Okay. Anyway. Alright, so next thing we're going to do... We got the rabbit brown. It's sitting right here. We're going to make a little white roux. 
Now I know that's one of them oxymoronics, because uh, normally it roof brown for me, but we're making a white roof for chicken. For I keep saying chicken, man. Y'all got me saying that because everything tastes like chicken. For rabbit dumplings, dumplings period is going to be a white gravy. Now I ain't no Rachel Dean or Paula Ray or Bobby, whatever it is. Uh, on on that food cooking thing, but I know what I'm doing with chicken and dumplings. See, said it again. All right, so I'm gonna add a little flour to what all I got left in here in the pot. Normally you do. If you put a tablespoon of flour, you need a tablespoon of oil. But that's when I'm making brown gravy today. Is a white gravy for rabbit dumplings, so I'm not too concerned that I got more flour than I got oil, because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in here with the flour. I don't want to brown it. I just want to taste it up a little bit with the heat. All right. So I'm stirring it around. Y'all hear that racket out there? That's my pet chicken, my rooster Henry. He's kind of mad because I won't let him in here. Uh, but he's been kicked outside for kind of messing up some things inside the house. Right, and I'm not going to go into that either. Not on TV, you know. That's who cook it. Alright, so I got my, my flour in the oil. It's not brown. And see, I'm having to do this by myself. Or I, have you a shot of this right now, see? We're in real fancy cut too, but this is live television. So, and I'm doing it by myself. I just wanted to show y'all. So, the onions go in. Onions in there with the root. And you notice, it ain't been that long. If this would have been a brown gravy, we would have completely browned the flour before we put the onions in. But we're not grounding the flour. Right? Right. Alright, so we want to saute these onions a little bit. Kind of make the sugar come out of them. Now them fancy people on TV like like Rachel Dean, she calls it caramelization. Well, we're not going to be fancy with that. We're just going to call it sugar because that's what it is. You Onions have got sugar in them, they sweet. And it comes out and browns a little bit. Not much, because guess why? It's a white gravy. Alright, so we got that little bit of sauteing going on. I got some water heating up back in the back you didn't know about, but because of the magic of television, I stuck it on there when you wasn't looking. I'm going to heat that water up, see? Right before my onions and, and flour start turning brown, which we don't want to happen, I'm going to pour the water in there and that, that'll be our base. Okay? That's the base for our roux or gravy, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now that's looking pretty good. That kind of wilted down. We're going to go ahead and add. Oops, I had a little spinach. I'm going to add the water to it. And anything you got stuck to the bottom, that little bit of water will uh, make it come loose. Now, Paula Ray would call that deglazing. And they like to use fancy stuff like wine and other liquors. I think they just have it in the kitchen so they can drink it. But this water worked just fine. And you can drink that too. Alright, so right now we're just sticking it up. It's, it's, it's just a little bit off white, which is not bad. Because it's picking up that little bit of good stuff off the bottom of the pot. You know, the little brown piece of rabbit, little brown flour, and that onion sugar. Alright, so it's looking real good there. And it, Stuff coming off the bottom, deglazing. See, I can use fancy words. 
I might add a little more water because it's a little bit thick. You may wonder how I learned how to cook. Well, my mom and daddy learned me. Yep. We spent a lot of time on the trail, in the woods, in the swamp. We was always cooking something. Daddy and mom would catch it. Wild game. We couldn't run down to the store every day because, well, we just didn't have the money. Well, we were po folks. And uh, these people here, apparently, got a little bit better than I have. I'm going to cook for them. But they may not like this wild game stuff. But they'll get a little taste of what it used to be for everybody. Back in those days, it wasn't no people turning their nose up to because everybody ate the same thing, see, in the old days. People hunted, fished, raised their own food, cows, chickens, like I do. But a lot less people do it nowadays. They, they talk a lot of talk, but they don't walk a lot of walk. They just go down to like them organic food stores and pay a whole lot of money for the same thing. Anyway, we've got a pretty good gravy that I've used just about all of the water I had heated up and it's not too thick which means it ain't going to what? Stick. We don't want to stick. Now, I'm going to add the rest of my vegetables in here because my onions is wilted down real good. And I got some green onions here which you got to have. You know, don't do any kind of dumplings without green onions and celery. I also got my, my garlic here. I'm going to take the same spoon here, put about, I don't know, two big tablespoons of minced garlic in there. That's good, like Angie used to say on that, that old, good old TV show. God bless his soul, he's gone now. That was real show back then. All right, look, I'm going to cut the onions up right quick, the green onions, and we'll put them in there. We're going to put the rabbit in there, and we're going to let it set a little while, cook, get kind of close to tender, and then we're going to make the dumplings in the meantime. So, while that's going on, I'll show you how to do the dumplings. That's right, we're going to make them from scratch. There ain't none of that bulk stuff out of the store. Why? Because I'm showing you the old way. We just couldn't run. They didn't have dumplings at the store. Everybody knew how to make dumplings. Everybody. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a smidget more water. A smidget means about a cup, cup and a half, right out the tap which comes out of the water well out there. No, this ain't city chlorinated water. Alright. Set that right there. And we're going to slide the rabbit on in there. Get on in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me a little bit. Alright. A little more water. Turn that fire off back up because we don't want to cook a pot. Alright. Now, we got about that much in there. Got the gravy covering the rabbit. All the vegetables. Everything. I'm not salting anything right now. I'll add some seasoning to it in a little bit and I'll show you when I do it. We're going to put the lid on. We're going to cut it down to about low and we're going to get ready to make them done. Now, what I've done is went ahead a little bit. So you wouldn't have to, you know, sit through all this stuff. But what I got here is my dough, my dumpling dough. It's about a cup of flour, or two cups of flour, and about three quarters cup of milk. I got about two teaspoons of baking powder, about maybe a half teaspoon of baking soda, uh, about a half teaspoon of salt, and what I've got here, I went ahead and mixed it. I got my rolling pin. I put a little flour out here. 
I got a little flour wheel up on it so that way it don't stick. You see how it's kind of firm? You move it around. That's what you want. Now what we're going to do here, I got my flour spread all out here, see? So you're going to make a mess. You might as well just get ready for that. We're going to take a rolling pin. Make sure it's got some dry flour on it. We're going to start rolling this baby out, see? Just like that. Mm-hmm. Now what I'll do every now and then, take a little flour, put it on there, keep it on the pin because you don't want it to stick. If it does, you're going to have a mess. Alright, see? Roll her out. And what we want to do is get down to about, about an eighth of an inch stick, something like that. Real thin, because they're going to swell up a little bit. This is all-purpose flour, by the way, not self-rising. That's why I got a little baking powder in it. So we're going to get down to about an eighth of an inch thick. Now see, ain't that pretty? I mean, you take all the fun out of it. See how it kind of rolled up a little bit? That means I need to put a little, a little more flour on the pan. Alright, see, it's looking good. We probably got way more dumplings here than we need. But while I was gone for that few minutes there, the rabbit done got done got kind of you know tender. And that's what you want before you put your dumplings in. I'm just checking the thickness. Gotta roll it out just a little bit more. A little bit more. See, I'm getting a little sticky, Jack. Put a little flour on there. Try to use what we got here. Alright, see. Alright, now that's pretty much it. Once you get it rolled out, the hard part's over. What we're going to do is, is cut our dumplings. They need to be about, oh, about two inches thick. Make sure you put a little, little, little flour on your finger. They need to be about two inches wide. Wide, thick, however you want to say. Right now I'm just cutting strips, see. And we're going to drop these babies in there. Mm-hmm. Looking sweet, ain't it? Oh, ain't nothing like some good old homemade, no. Now we probably won't use all of these, but we'll have them if we need them. So I'm gonna make them about eight long. Mm -hmm. This is just how my mama used to cook. She still cooks them this way, but she makes me cook now. So there we go. Got a little sticky one. So the dumplings are done. Now what we're going to do, we can come over here to the pot, lift this up, and we're going to start dropping them in. Now what I did is add a little water because while it was cooking and getting tender, it was uh, losing water. And just drop them into the boiling broth, see? Right there to the gravy. Ain't that sweet? Just like that. Once we get a few in there, we'll stir them so they don't stick. See, I got some sticking going on there because I don't have enough flour down underneath. We'll, we'll, we'll avoid that a little bit. Get a little flour on my fingers. Nothing's kind of messy. So that's really all it is to it. Just drop them in there. And you're gonna, I'm going to drop them in like I said. And stir them in a minute so they don't stick with each other. This is one time where you don't want things to stick together. Alright, so I'm going to spare you the expense of watching me drop all these dumplings. I'll, I'll probably use about... About that many more. We're back at the pot. I got the dumplings in. 
and I put a little seasoning to it now. Put a little salt, a little black pepper, a little garlic powder, and of course, Old Bay. Now, the garlic powder really, really makes dumplings taste good. Garlic is just special. I love it, and it makes you, you know, your skin, and heart, and lungs, and liver, and lights, and all that other stuff good. I don't think it's too good on the, the breath, but my wife eats it too, so we're kind of used to it. Alright, one other thing ingredient I'm putting in here is little peas and carrots. That's right, right in the dump. Peas and carrots. Bet you never heard of that, have you? I'm going to give it a little stir to make sure I got the proportions right. That's a big word, but I learned it a couple of days ago. You don't want to overdo it, but carrots and peas is kind of sweet. And uh, I like that little sweetness they give. A little more carrots and peas. Might as well put it all in. I think we're in good shape. Alright, that's looking sweet. Now, there's only one other thing I'm going to put in here. Rabbit's really getting tender. Starting to, almost starting to come off the bone. If I push on it a little bit, it'll come off the bone. One thing I want to tell you before going, I had this leftover flour. You're done. Put them in the Ziploc, give them to the folks I'm cooking for, and then put them over in the freezer. That way they don't waste nothing, see? You can cook dumplings again next week. Just take them out, roll them out, and got her done. So, alright, so back to one more ingredient. I'm going to put a little bit of milk in here. If I find that my dumplings ain't quite thick enough, my gravy in other words, I'm going to put a little flour with the milk. But right now she's looking pretty pretty good. So I'm gonna grab a little milk. Be right back. Don't go away. We're gonna put a little milk in here. This kind of makes a little more creamy. And uh brings that color out too. That white color. So now Looks more and more like old fashioned dough. And they're going to be creamy special too. What I'll do is give you a shot of it, the pot here in a minute. But essentially, we done. We just got to let the dumplings get tender. So, we're going to do a little taste test right now. You got to do that. That's special. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're doing right. We're gonna put the lid on that baby. In a few minutes, we'll come back and check and see how tender they are. And I'll give you a shot of it. This is what they look like. You see how thick the gravy is? You see the dumplings? They're getting real tender now. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. And we're going to sit down and have us taste these babies. I hope the people like them. And I hope you like it. Well, if you cook them. Can't like these. Maybe you can like what you see. Alright, here we go. We're going to check it out. I want to try it before the people get here. Just a few more minutes before the game starts. Because they probably won't have none left or let me eat none. Anyway, here we go. Dumplings. Rabbit dumplings. I got some dumplings here. Let me get a little rabbit here. A little bit of rabbit. Some peas. Some dumplings. Carrots. Here we go. Take me to heaven right now. Because I done experienced all there is to experience. I hope y'all enjoyed this, folks, as much as I do. You can't beat some good old rabbit dumplings. When you got time, experience some different things. This is our culture here in South Louisiana. Watch a little bit of that gravy, good gravy, y'all. 
And I hope you enjoyed our show. We're going to do it nothing soon. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.